Getting a new Flutter version can sometimes feel like Christmas, but when you open that present, you may find that your app is no longer compiling or a particular package is no longer working with that version of Flutter. And uh, yeah, if you've experienced this, then you've probably found yourself on Stack Overflow and searching for how to downgrade your Flutter version or how to get to the previous version that you were using. And you may have found that this is not as easy as it should be. Also switching between different Flutter channels, so for example from the stable channel to the dev channel, can be extremely tedious because it requires that you download that particular version of Flutter, like the whole Flutter. Six hours later. And uh, yeah, this is where Flutter version management comes in, or FVM for short. It's gonna save your life in this regard, as it allows you to have multiple versions of Flutter on your machine at the same time, and it allows you to switch at them or switch between them instantly. As an added benefit, it also ensures that your whole development team, so everyone working on the same project, is using the same version of Flutter as this is something that you hard code into the project saying that we are currently using this particular version of Flutter. And yeah, that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video is how to use FVM, how to set it up and um, all of the benefits that come with it. So yeah, first things first, we definitely need to give kudos to the guy who made this package. His name is Leo. I'm not sure how to pronounce his surname. He's made a number of other amazing packages. So yeah, if you're able, definitely give him some support or just give him a shout out or a thanks or whatever. And yeah, while you're on Twitter, you may as well uh, give me a follow. <laughs> I'm there as well. Okay, so heading on over to the documentation. Yeah, that's just something else. Recently, uh, Flutter version management got documentation and it's awesome. It's really good. And yeah, you'll actually find all of the information over there. Um, here's some motivation and some principles, basically what we discussed in the intro. A big thing that I didn't really mention is the fact that you do switch a lot between different channels. Um, just if you want to taste something new or if there's new features or for example, when Flutter 2.0 came out and you wanted to integrate null safety, uh, switching between like um, your production branch and your development branch that may be using different channels, that is a lot of work um, switching that every time manually. So yeah, let's head on over to installation and you'll see there's multiple ways. You can uh, do a standalone, uh, like Mac, Windows, Linux uh, install. Uh, we are gonna do a pub install. So dart pub global activate. I've already installed this, but you'll see that uh, running the command, it's just gonna update it. Uh, I'm already on the latest version 2.0.1 at the time of this video. But that's it, running that you should have FVM. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the commands available and then later we'll take a look at configuration. But yeah, let's take a look at basic commands. You'll see that use is the first one listed and that is the most important. Here you will actually say what version of Flutter you want to use. So um, for example, if you say uh, FVM use whatever, then it will use that version but we don't know what versions there are. So we'd actually want to do FVM list first. And this will list the versions that you have installed on your machine. And if you're on FVM list and it's empty, that means you don't have any particular version of Flutter on your machine. So let's take a look at the other commands. We want to say FVM releases. And that's, this will show you what releases of Flutter is available. So you'll see that there is a 2.0.6, uh, latest stable and I haven't downloaded that uh, yet so we can actually just uh, make sure that we use that particular one so you'll see that there's an install command so fvm install and then we will say 2.0.6 and yeah this is going to take a while for it to download okay so we're finally finished as you can see it was 200 megabytes of downloading and it probably took like three minutes to actually finish um, just installing this version of Flutter. So yeah, this proves the benefit of using FVM. So now if we run FVM list, yeah, you'll see that 2.0.6 is there and we can use it. So now the question becomes, how do we use it? So there's two ways you can do it. Uh, as you can see, there's this global uh, marked here. So that you can set a global uh, version that FVM should use, no matter which project you are in when you use the global version, it's always gonna be that one. But I tend to not actually use global. We'll take a look at this later. But what I prefer is setting a specific version 
for um, a particular project. So as you can see, we have a clean project over here. And what we want to do is say if the M use, and then we will say 2.0.6. And this is saying Flutter or project, please use this version of FVM. And you can see project now uses Flutter 2.0.6. And at the top left, we have FVM, a new folder created with uh, the Flutter SDK and the FVM config.json. So this uh, config file says what particular version of Flutter we are using for this project. And the SDK folder is actually the uh, bin and the library for Flutter for this particular version. So one thing that we do want to do is we want to ignore this from our git ignore because uh, obviously this is going to be the whole Flutter SDK. We do not want to commit that. So on the configuration, you'll see that they suggest that you add this to git ignore as well. So just adding this. In this particular project, it's not gonna do anything because Git is not configured, but yeah, you get the idea. Okay, so yeah, let's take a look at what other configuration we can do. And this, I actually suggest you read on your own. So this is just like a couple of extra things that you can do. So for example, setting the installation path to a different place or using a custom version of Flutter. So for example, um, uh, Flutter that you've uh, cloned and modified yourself. So specific version of Flutter that's not uh, the default standard ones. And uh, yeah, this is actually what we are interested in now is the settings for VS Code. Uh, at the bottom, there's one for Android Studio as well. So if we open our settings.json file, so same command shift P and just saying settings. And yeah, we can take a look at the JSON file. You can see that Part of the settings um, says that we can set the Flutter SDK path, okay? So here we're setting it to .fvm Flutter SDK, so this folder over here. And here you can see I'm actually setting it to uh, the global one, which is actually wrong. So let's set this to .fvm and Flutter underscore SDK. And now what this will actually do is when we go to our main.dart file and we actually press play, okay? So start debugging or whatever. This will actually use FVM instead of our globally installed Flutter version or whatever. So now we're using 2.0.6 as defined uh, over here in our FVM config file. So this is great. Now we don't actually need to uh, execute our commands from the terminal or like start Flutter from the terminal, Visual Studio Code will use that version of FVM. I'm just gonna stop this because we don't actually want to build it. And um, now we will actually take a look at the commands that we would have used in the terminal. Normally when you want to run Flutter, you would say Flutter run. And yeah, this will run the project. We're just gonna quit this. If you want to use FVM, it's just a matter of saying fvm flutter run. So you just prefix fvm to whatever the command is and then it uses flutter version management. And same thing, now it's gonna use uh, fvm running version 2.0.6 and it's uh, doing the whole project build for us now. But yeah, we're gonna stop this again. <laughs> we don't wanna do it. And uh, take a look at some other configuration what we can do. Um, you can see that they say, or they suggest removing this from search. So. Uh, I'm guessing this should be a good idea just because like if you search a project uh, You probably don't want it to actually pick up all of this. So uh, Like if you do command shift search and do a test whatever it's probably gonna pick up the flutter SDK as you can see over here So yeah in settings adjacent same thing. We can just paste that Search exclude fvm true. Okay, so now if we do the same thing test It's no longer showing up so yeah, perfect. Okay, so other configurations that we can do, if you don't want to confine this to be like confined to a particular project, so for example, if you, um, maybe you don't work in a team and you don't care uh, that this is hard-coded, this fvm config.json, then you can set this up so that it actually just gives you access to all of the different versions and then you can easily switch between them in uh, your um, IDE. 
and uh, to do that uh, we would actually need to have had what I had previously so the full path to the cache of all of the installations and to get this path you can just run fvm list okay so fvm list you can see it gives you access to the path I've run this command just as a test so yeah we can take this and just copy it and in here we'll just paste this and we still want our double quotes and now what this will allow you to do is actually change your SDK so saying Flutter change SDK you can change that to a particular version that is in your cache directory and select one of these but yeah as far as I understand this should only be used if you're not specifying a particular version over here here we are hard coding saying we want to use 2.0.6 so yeah, that's, that's something you can do if you uh, just want the convenience of saying change SDK from your IDE. But yeah, I'm gonna revert this back to what we had. And yeah, let's explore what other configurations we can do. Uh, another thing that's really amazing, as you can see, is we can specify that we maybe only want to use stable and dev. So if you never want to use any of the other channels, so master or whatever, then here you can specify only stable and dev. Okay, so let's continue to some basic commands. Um, we take a look at install, remove, you can just remove a particular version, list, list all of them, releases, shows you what uh, Flutter versions are available, and FVM Doctor shows you information about environment and project configuration. And yeah, that's, that's the bulk of them. Uh, as you can see, it, um, for running Flutter, it's just proxy, proxying the commands to Flutter. So as we said, just FVM prefix for everything. Same for darts, you can do FVM darts as well. Here's some tips on using aliases. So shorthand and code, not shorthand uh, commands that you can use in your terminal. So F instead of FVM Flutter. So take a look at that if you are interested. And uh, yeah, calling SDK directly we can obviously just specify to call the uh, flutter uh, binary in the bin folder directly and call run if you want to do that and then here is a spawn command on any installed flutter sdk i'm not too sure why we'd want to do that i guess for analyze maybe but yeah uh, here we can see that we can also configure a global version so this is not project based it's just global across the projects you will say FVM global version this and then if you do not specify it in your project or wherever else then it would use that version of uh, Flutter. Uh, you can take a look at this on your own and then last thing one of the coolest thing is specifying flavors so um, in Flutter flavor is essentially saying that this is your sandbox application or this is your production application and you specify a command saying build this one or build this one and uh, maybe for your sandbox or um, your dev environment, you want to use a different version of Flutter. Maybe you upgraded that version of Flutter and um, it's still like, experimental and some stuff are breaking and that version of Flutter cannot be used on your production uh, flavor. Then this is perfect for that. As you can see, all we do is specify that we want to use the SDK version stable and then we specify uh, the different uh, flavors, okay? So here again, you can have different um, channels as well, I believe. But yeah, for dev, we are using beta. For staging, we're using version 2.03. In production, we're using um, the pre-Flutter 2.0 version. Something else we can do is pin a particular flavor version. So for this, we would say FVM use. So wait, before we do that, let's do a list fvm use version 1.22.6 dash dash flavor and we will set the flavor name here to be prod and then we are also going to say fvm use 1.2.0.6 no, we will say that this flavor is our uh, dev and then cool now we can say fvm flavor and here it gives you the option to select environment. So we can say FVM flavor, we want to use uh, the prod one. And then now using the prod flavor, so fantastic.
so quick uh, switches between different flavors and uh, yeah that's that um this is something that you can also then do when uh, you do continuous delivery you can just switch the version to a particular flavor so flavor dev or flavor prod and uh, it will automatically switch for you but yeah um what else do we have here as you can see here's more advanced stuff so if you want to use a particular custom fork or flutter and then also uh, installing a specific revision of flutter and yeah that's that i'm pretty sure this package is gonna continue improving over the future so yeah definitely kudos to everyone that's been involved in making this uh, special kudos to leo it's an amazing package and it's definitely useful to me and i know it's useful to a ton of other people and i hope it will be useful to you as well so yeah i'll catch you in the next video and cheers